Listen, I've heard it all. High fat causes cholesterol blockage. High fat leads to high blood pressure. High fat leads to heart disease. High fat can trigger cancer cells. Oh my gosh. There is a ton of misinformation and so many myths of high fat foods and it's no wonder. You go into the grocery store and the food labels advertise low fat with a misleading sticker on it that said it's approved as part of a healthy diet. I'm here to debunk those myths and tell you the truth about why fat is important for the body. We have hundreds of testimonials from our Code Red Rebels who have taken back control of their health, lost the weight and kept it off with a high fat diet. If taking your life back is something that you wanna do, I have a challenge for you. Click the link below to find out more information. This whole myth started back in the 50s from somebody named Ansel Keys, who did this study called the Seven Country Study. And he tried to prove that a high fat diet caused heart disease. Problem was, he cherry picked the results and somehow took the results to the government, to the US government, and convinced them that fat was the culprit in heart disease and in a high mortality rate. So, the government then adopted this whole low fat standard of eating and that is when we became obese and sick and when our problems really started. And of course the food companies were all too happy to accommodate the government standards by creating low fat options for everything you can possibly imagine from uh, salad dressings to cookies. And that's what started this big problem that we now have. But the reality is, low fat, non-fat, light, you wanna stay away from those. And why is that? Because anything that says low fat, non-fat, light is jacked up high in sugar. Well, why is that? Because when you take the fat out of foods, it tastes like garbage, it tastes like cardboard. And the food manufacturers know this. So they jack up the carbs and sugar to where it tastes decent and you'll eat it. All the while you think you're having something healthy, you're not because high sugar is the culprit for heart disease, not high fat. Therefore, when we switched to this low fat eating, we actually got sicker and fatter than ever before in human history. The myth that high fat foods cause disease and blockage in the arteries and high blood pressure, that is absolutely not true. See, when it comes to cholesterol, there is no bad cholesterol. LDL has this whole, uh, reputation of being the bad cholesterol, but nothing could be further from the truth. The only time that LDL becomes bad is in the presence of high sugar. And in that case, the cholesterol particle gets sticky and then sticks to your arterial wall, causing blockage. So in the presence of high blood sugar, that's when you have to be careful with blockage and buildup. But cholesterol in and of itself is not bad and it doesn't cause the blockage. High fat diet does not cause atherosclerosis or some sort of a blockage in your arteries. You've got to get that myth out of your mind. It's gotta be a complete paradigm shift. You have to forget all the misinformation that you've been brainwashed into believing because it's simply not true. It's like blaming the firemen at the scene of a fire. Okay, they are there trying to help and LDL is there trying to help. What causes blockage and buildup in the arteries is sugar. Because what does sugar do? It causes inflammation. And when your cholesterol particles get sticky, they will then stick to the arterial walls and cause that buildup and blockage. Not good. So you wanna keep that blood sugar down at all costs for so many reasons. High fat is not the problem, high sugar is the problem. Another myth is that, oh, you're gonna gain more fat on a high fat diet. Nothing could be further from the truth. Listen, fat does not cause you to gain fat. Eating fat, eating dietary fat, is not the same as the fat on your thighs, adipose tissue, white fat. That's not the same thing. The fat in avocado is not the same as white fat, okay? So fat is great, dietary fat is great, because what does it do? It makes you more satiated. You need less volume of fat. I mean, think about it. You've got nine calories in one gram of avocados and four calories in one gram of chicken. 
So you're getting more bang for your buck, more calories, more energy, which is a good thing, not a bad thing, for the same amount of food. That's why you feel so satiated with just a small amount. A high fat diet is gonna regulate your hormones. It's gonna help you sleep better. It's gonna clear up the skin. It's gonna give you more energy. It's not going to make you gain weight. I've heard people say that, well, a high fat diet is not a good idea because you need carbs and sugar to function. Listen, there are carbs and natural sugar in vegetables. Those are the only carbs and sugar that you need. You don't need to carbo load. Your body can function just fine on meat and vegetables, nuts, eggs, seeds, seafoods, and fat. Think about our earlier man. Think about our cavemen. They ate animal protein. They ate the entire animal, the bone marrow, the brains, every part of the animal. They didn't need pasta from the local you know, Italian restaurant. They didn't need that to survive and neither do you. That's just what's so readily available, but guys, it's created in a factory. It takes a factory to digest. That doesn't mean that you actually need it. So you gotta let go of that whole myth that you need carbs and sugar. When you get rid of the junk carbs and the bull crap sugar out of your life, your body is then going to switch over to using its own stored body fat as fuel. That's called becoming fat adapted, and you're gonna be a much more efficient person and athlete. If you want to keep believing the lies that the food and diet industry tells you, I cannot help you. But if you want to join the thousands of people who have lost weight and kept it off while preventing serious illness and disease on a high fat diet, I have a program for you. Before you go, make sure you click the link provided below. If you love this video, give me a big thumbs up and better yet, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. That way you are notified when I release a new video. But I want to hear from you. Comment below and tell me what is a high fat myth that you used to believe before you came to Code Red. Tell me, comment below and I'll see you on the next video.